Hello, welcome to our uh, series of weekly devotionals. Uh, we're looking this week at a, a story, a well-known story, a familiar story in the first book of Kings, the encounter between the prophet Elijah and, uh, and the widow of Zarephath. When I worked at an insurance company uh, before I got into ministry, I sort of made it a practice every day on my lunch break to take a, a nice long walk and it was nice to sort of decompress and have some alone time with God uh, during the day. And I would sort of take stock of where my life was going, uh, offer some gratitude to God for the blessings in my life, and and spend some time listening for God's voice, uh, for God's call, where God might be leading me to or where. Uh, and it was it was an important part of my day and my week. And you would think now that I've gotten into ministry, I would have continued that practice, uh, but now it seems I'm too busy <laughs> most days to do such things, um, which is sort of a shame because I think as people of faith, as Christians, uh, we need those times uh, to sort of quiet ourselves and be alone with God and, and to hear uh, what God might be saying to us, where God might be leading us, what God might be calling us to. And, uh, and this passage in the first book of Kings reminds us of the importance of that uh, in our lives. Um, like most of the books of the prophets uh, before Elijah speaks, he will usually say, thus says the Lord. And, and uh, that's certainly true in this passage. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, as the Lord your God lives, uh, the woman says, uh, the word of the Lord came to Elijah saying, go now to Zarephath. What these verses remind us of, uh, and, and scholars certainly note this in the long prophetic career of the prophet Elijah, uh, is that his call changes. The revelation of God to Elijah changes. It evolves throughout his life, throughout his calling, uh, that God uh, changes what God would like him to do. And, and that in order to fulfill God's calling in his life, he needs to continually discern God's revelation to him. And it reminds us that, you know, in our society, I think so often, so many people, we ourselves, we have our minds made up about so many things. We're not open to, to hearing something new. But at least in our lives of faith, the life that God offers to us, this passage remind us, reminds us that that life requires discernment, that, that God continually reveals new insights, new wisdom, new callings uh, to us. And so uh, to live the life that God offers to us together requires uh, those times of discernment to what and to where God might be calling us next. Amen.